wako na kwako in 2013 na 2014 mimi ndio nilipatia omtata documents ya kwenda kotini apige hii kitu in 2014 mimi ndio nilisponsor mlikuwa nasikia kelele ya Alfred Kitel. Hiyo ilikuwa education yangu kwa wabunge wapige hii kitu. Uhuru mwenyewe ndugu yangu alinipigia usiku mmoja he talked to me for two hours. Kuniambia I am sabotaging the economy of Kenya. Na atafunga mimi nikamwambia please go ahead i must divorce myself and educate the people of this country hi maneno na nilikuwa mtu wa biashara si mtu wa siasa i have been very vocal lenaola alitupa hiyo kesi tukaisukuma ikaenda supreme court si supreme court court of appeal in 2020 and court of appeal said this thing is null and void sisi ndio tulikuwa nyuma ya hiyo kitu so sisema tulinyamaza tulikuwa nafanya kazi but in the back kwa sababu sisi hatusi watu wa siasa hatukuwa watu wa siasa sasa tunazungumza kwa sababu tuko mbele si ndio tuko mbele and i'll tell you hii kitu haitaisha leo haitaisha leo Vile hii watu wamefanya they are going to cause a revolution in this country. <laughs> Na msidau ati hatuwezi fanya hiyo kitu. Mzungu alikuwa hapa mbebero. Alikuwa ame colonize 500 million people duniani nzima, the largest empire. Na ni hapa tu Kenya aliona vita ya ukombozi wa inchi. Ujipigie makofi wakati wa moi labda nyinyi wengine wa mungu amezaliwa wakati wa moi ni watu wawili watatu maximum sita ambao walisema huyu mtu tutamuondoa tunataka multi partism tumuondoe na wakati huo katiba ilikuwa nasema katiba before 2010 kufikiria si hata kusema kufikiria ati rais hayuko kwa kiti unapelekwa jela it is called treason kufikiria si hata kusema na alipeleka watu wengi gerezani si aliondoka si mmoja aliondoka ha don't underestimate yourselves Musiwe na hofu ati hatuwezi kufanya hii kitu. Hii kitu msidanganywe na mtu. Hakuna suluhu ingine ni revolution peke yake. Revolution in thinking, revolution in strategy na revolution kuondoa hawa watu even without an election. Because people power is supreme. Musingoje mambo ya election. Hapa Sudan muliona nini? Wamama walisimama. Kweli ama si kweli? Walisema hii hii huyu mtu bei ya mkate imefika hapa. Ah ah. Tutamuondoa. Hii yetu kwa sababu Kenya is a country of fasts. Kwa Afrika we are a country of fasts hapa haitakuwa na damu haitakuwa na bunduki hii itakuwa ya wananchi na roho ya wakenya that is what is going to happen and that's what we must call on kwa sababu kwa kizungu inaitwa the people's choice theory ukiona viongozi ambao wanajitetea mambo yao tu hawajali wananchi wananchi wanachukua power and they use the people's choice theory wao wenyewe wanaondoa hao watu 
So Musiwa na hofu. I said before, you are not Kenyan because you are born in Kenya. You are born, you are Kenyan because Kenya is born in you. Musimame na mna hiyo. Asante ni sana. Kuna, kuna, kuna jibu ya, ya, ya petroli, sorry, nime, nime, ya petroli. Nataka ujue hivi ndugu yamu. As long as tunalipa hii madeni, currency yetu itakuwa inaendelea kushuka. Na ikiendelea kushuka, any imports ambao tunaleta itakuwa very expensive. Petroli ni moja wao. Na hii serikali imeanza subsidy, juice, lakini hawana hela. They cannot continue it. Hawana hela. Ile contract ya G2G wali sign kwa mfano. Ile consignment tulichukua in March dola ilikuwa 127. Six months later, tunalipa in September hiyo consignment. Dola ilikuwa 147. Hiyo difference ya 20 ndiyo inapalekwa kwa pamu. Hii contract ukiangalia vizuri, bei ya petroli, you can, you can predict mpaka September next year. Hapa. Ile 300 wa... Uh, sante sana. Bado ni habari tuza kugofia. Uh, na challenge na kuja kwa kina mama. Kina mama mpo? Vijana wapo. Uh, vijana pia wapo.